I'm Steve from Technology Core, and in this video we're going to have a look at the graphs and data toolbar within WizTeach. Graphs and data is actually under maths and then graphs and data. So there's only four, four activities in, the, in this particular one. The first one we'll have a look at is our probability wheel. So we can drag that out. Like with all of the tools within WizTeach, we can resize them, bring them over the top of existing content or a website if we want. So I'll just move that over there. We'll make that a bit bigger. And we've got a whole heap of different, um, different wheels that we can, we can spin. So we select the one that we want, and then we just spin it. This will tell us the probability of that, of that colour coming up. So in this example, we've got, we've got a 1 in 8 chance of it coming up. We can add that to our sequence, and that can go down here. What we can do is say the odds of repeating this sequence again are, so again, they're the same because we've only done the one. We can do another spin. And again, we can add that to the sequence. So what you'll notice is we're adding this, these ones to our sequence, and then that's changing the odds there. So it's a good example of how we can um, explain the probability of these two colours coming up again in that order. So, um, and we can just do as many as we like, add them, and this will obviously change. So it's, it's quite a good visual tool. Okay, the other one that we've got is our, our dice. So we can either bring out our cup, drop our dice into there, and then we just spin it, and it comes out. Now it does go for a little bit long, but, well that's a bit better. Um, we can actually ch just touch them and they will actually change uh, the number also. So either way, into the cup, spin it, they'll come out, or we can um, just touch the, touch the dice and they'll, and they'll change for us. All right. The last one we've got or well, second last, sorry, is our tally marks. So this is just your run-of-the-mill tally marks, and that will give us the number. So we're, whatever numbers we put in there, we can also drag that number out and use it with other tools within WizTeach. So as, as you'll see in the other videos, all the tools and all the numbers work together and we could have them out, we could drop them into a, a multiplication sum if we wanted to. All right, and the last one is our, our graph. Okay, so there's a little bit of working out on this one. So we need to highlight the rows that we want and the columns. So let's do eight rows, eight columns, and then we just touch there. And that will actually create a eight row, eight column graph that we can use. So what we can do is, is change the, the, the title of each of, those, um, each of those columns if we want. And then we just populate these with, with numbers. So we'll just quickly put in a couple of numbers. All right. Now we've got an assortment of, of different um, graphs up here, but what we need to do is highlight each of those cells and then select the graph that we want. And they're, and they're quite visual ones and they'll be able to, and we can do something like that. So there's a whole heap of different ones that we can put in, putting in your numbers, highlighting the numbers and then doing the graph. So I hope you found that useful. Have a look at the other videos and good luck with it all.